and here it is. So if you remember at the beginning guys, this van was in absolute state. It was an old, I don't know what van it was, but the plywood was horrible, it had oil stain or something down it. It was just disgusting and now we've just transformed it, it's so fresh, it's an amazing camper and we've done a lot of stuff to the engine as well. So today I'm going to give you a tour of this van and just show you why it's so good. So moving back through the van, we've cleaned out all the cab and made that look brand new. So that's all fresh and new and we've added a bit of chrome on the steering wheel and we've added some new chrome pedals as well just to make it look a lot better. So moving into the back on the conversion, so the first thing we did was we took out the bulkhead we cleaned everything up and then we've cut off the edge of this bulkhead here. So we've got the trim of the bulkhead and we then carpeted this as well. So this covers up all the gaps and it just makes it look nice and cosy. The main conversion, we stripped out the whole of the back, we cleaned it all down, we prepped it all and then we've insulated the whole van, we've sound deadened it and we've used the thermo barrier as well which is all part of the insulation. We then added the cladding to the two sliding doors, the two sides and the roof and the two back barn doors as well. We've carpeted the back archway, we've carpeted the two rear doors, added the curtains. We added this amazing grey flooring which looks really, really good. We then added little bits of trim around the edge just to finish it off. And then we took our old bed out of our blue van, we painted this white and we put it into this one. We've got a little bit of cushions on here just to make it look a bit nicer and cosy. And then as a finishing touch we've added these fairy lights around the roof that look really, really good. So this bed is almost two metres long so it's perfect for me to sleep on. So if it was just me in the van, I would just keep it as a single bed. But obviously if you've got two people, you can simply just slide the bed out, like so. Not getting in the way. <laughs> and there you go, you've got your double bed. So then obviously you can put your mattress on top and set it all up, and that's ideal for two people. The flooring looks amazing, and I really, really like this flooring. The grey and the white I think looks really, really good. So again, we got this from Wix. We bought 12 mil hardwood flooring um, and we use two packs of this and again it's ton and groove again you just cut it to shape and just slot it all in and then we use wood glue to secure that down so it's nice and solid and it's not going anywhere and it just looks amazing and obviously it's quite tough so you know you're not going to get scratches and it's going to be hard wearing so the two back barn doors we've carpeted them with the grey carpet the four-way stretch carpet which looks really really good we've then got the back panel that was with the van that you can get in your ply lining kit so we then cut the cladding to this ply lining kit and stuck it on wood glue and then just screwed this back into the van. We then added a lanyard so that you can open the door from the inside so with caddies and other VWs and it might have other makes as well you can't open the back doors from the inside you can open, open from the outside so by using this lanyard hack which you've got in another video you can now open the barn doors from the inside. So I'm just going to show you how the lanyard works so it's really really good to do so as you see the door's shut and you've got this lanyard here Essentially, all it's doing is just pulling up that mechanism, which is on the back of the door. So you just pull that up and then you can open the door. So it's really handy if you're inside the van and you obviously want to get out if it's raining or it's wet or something, or you don't want to walk away around the van, you just get out of the back, especially if you've got like a bit of a gazebo. So we've got a tent with our other van. So you can set that up here and have the barn doors open. And then obviously when you go to sleep, you can shut the van up, lock it up, and you still got a gazebo bit there. But then in the morning, you don't have to walk around on the outside, you just open that door straight out and then with the led lights running around here simply they're just powered by a usb into a power bank this is super super handy i mean it looks really really cool it just adds that finishing touch makes it really nice and obviously you can just wire that in so you'd wire that into the front we need to run off a power bank here we've got a massive power bank uh, a blue yeti 300 watt power bank so obviously we can just wire that into there and have the lights on all the time so it'd be really really nice especially at night time so these are the van x curtains that we put on they're actually quite difficult to put on um, just because You've got to put the rail on so you've got to bend the rail into shape and then you've got to pilot drill the holes and then screw the rails in and then once you've done that you can slide the curtains on and then you've got little buttons on the edge which obviously tie it up so it stops the light coming through. They are really good curtains so you can just unclip them from the buttons like that and then you just push them along and they just slide along like so. So you've obviously got your bit window coming in well, obviously when you want to go to sleep takes out all the light and ideally as well it stops people looking into your van as well so if you've got anything in the van or you know when you're asleep anyway you don't want people looking in just a really smart way to stop people doing that you know so you can just slide them all along like this and uh, you can open them from both directions so they're perfect so there's the van tour guys it looks absolutely amazing